Today we're going to talk about economy wash on your washing machine. We're going to talk about how it works and if it is economic, is it ecologically friendly as well? Well, today we're going to find out. First of all, economy wash on your washing machine is essentially a setting that like pulls out all the little tricks that it can to save as much in your wallet as possible. That means it's going to heat up the temperature significantly slower than what regular cycle would. It's also going to use overall lower temperatures. I have found that usually it does go over about 40 degrees Celsius on most washers. That equates to this much in Fahrenheit. On top of this, it also tries to use as little water as possible. It's just how I use pretty average agitation cycles as well as uh, spin cycles. Uh, you will find that most of the energy your washing machine consumes comes from either heating up water or actually consuming the water. The other stuff like spinning and agitation, it doesn't really use a lot of energy. It's going to save, but it's going to take forever. I think on my washing machine here, the eco setting at 40 degrees takes uh, over three hours. So that's uh, <laughs> quite a long wash. But I will say though that this varies a little bit from washing machine to washing machine. On some washing machines, you will find that they try to consume less power by shortening down the cycle as well as cutting down the temperature. So washers, you will find that the temperature is the main thing that they try to cut down on. Overall, it's, there is a lot of marketing in this, as you can imagine. Uh, that brings me on to the next point. Is the economy wash also ecologically friendly? And to that, I will say yes, but not in the way you would think. The economy wash's main goal, right, is to try to cut down on costs. So it doesn't really take the environmental things into consideration for this. But as like a byproduct, there is a lot of uh, benefits for our nature as well using this setting. You will find that the lower water consumption and as well as the lower energy consumption is a great thing uh, with this cycle. But if you really want to make this very eco-friendly as well, there are a few things that you will need to do. First of which is probably switch over to eco detergent. That's going to be the main thing. Now, I am usually going to recommend uh, using something like this. These are laundry detergent sheets. I'm going to link the ones I recommend down in the description if you want these. Uh, that is because they use a lot less plastic, which uh, believe it or not, that is a big thing when it comes to laundry. Also cutting down on the amount of detergent that you use is going to help as well as cutting fabric softener entirely, including dryer sheets if you're going to dry it afterwards. Some more benefits that focuses on both economy as well as uh, the environment will be first to pre-treat any stains that you have on your garments before you throw them into the washing machine. This way you can use lower temperatures, shorter cycles, less agitation when you wash the garments. It's kind of, if you have one dirty garment and the rest are pretty clean, and you throw them all together, you're going to have to focus on the settings that will make the dirtiest garments clean, right? So if you pre-treat stains in the basin, made videos on that in the past that you can check out. I would also recommend that you fill the washer to the max capacity that the cycle allows. You will usually find how much the cycle allows for on the washing machine itself. On this one, it is nine kilos. Just be sure that you don't overload it because then another problem come in, comes in and that is that you're going to damage your washing machine over time, which is again, not eco-friendly because then you have to replace the washing machine or at least repair it. Just maintaining the washing machine is going to help a lot too on your wallet and as well as the environment. Uh, that means running a clean cycle once in a while as well as uh, cleaning it manually every half a year or so should help. Made videos on both of those things which I'm going to link at the end of this video. Uh, other than that, I would say just line drying clothes. That's going to be the biggest thing you can do for your laundry costs is really just to line dry the clothes that you can line dry. It's going to save so much electricity from this thing. And uh, yeah, you're gonna notice it on your wallet for sure. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a lot of marketing involved with this, right? So uh, one sure way you can find washing machines that are actually economically friendly for you is going to look for some um, rating system. In America, I think it's called Energy Star. I, it's like a little star in the market. These settings are usually measured out from the economy setting. So you can actually find which ones are the most uh, economically friendly. In Europe, we have this thing with like this huge, uh, I think it's letter system. It goes from uh, pretty low, probably D or E, uh, all the way up to A. And we also have A+, A++, and A++++. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so those are things to look out for. That's going to be the surest way that you can find uh, an economy setting that actually is economically friendly for you. It is a great setting. It does clean the clothes very well, I have owned personally, uh, especially 
Even cottons and dirty clothes that actually need some ag agitation, this cycle is very effective for it. I like it. I'm gonna link those videos I recommended. If you want to get a cheat sheet where I show you how to actually cut laundry costs in half, you can tap the link down in the description or go to organizing.tv slash cheat sheet and I'll send it to you. And uh, yeah, hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.